please. Emma? There. What do you think of that? Hey, what? Oh, kidneys, mushrooms, potatoes, tomatoes a la grec. Good grief, it's not my birthday, is it? <laughs> Take it away. Oh, sorry, dear. <laughs> What's this? It's a silver. My family silver. That's our crest. You wouldn't know. You haven't got a crest. Or any silver. Or a family. We had enough. Ah, good morning. Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> is, uh, is this the right house? <laughs> Tablecloth, flowers, silver toast rack, clean plates. Good heavens, it's Snow White's cottage. <laughs> Sit down, Timothy. Oh, good morning, Grumpy. <laughs> Look! Mixed grill. Mother, somebody's broken into the house and cooked a real breakfast. <laughs> You spat on your croissant. <laughs> Croissants at 29 Ravenscroft Avenue. Must be bankrupt stock. <laughs> this house has a name, Timothy. What, what, what? It's not 29 Ravenscroft Avenue. It's the Elms. The Elms? We haven't got any Elms. <laughs> we can't call it that. The Elms are all dead. Well, so are you, but we still call you Lumsden. <laughs> <laughs> the elm silver toast rack chunky marmalade we're keeping up with the joneses we don't speak to the joneses however we do speak to mrs folliot mrs folliot with two small f's oh for folliot <laughs> it's mrs for folliot for father nothing special about the polliots I've seen Dinerod round there more than once. Not at the breakfast table, thank you, Sydney. The Folliots are special. They've been burgled three times this year. Oh, poor things. Poor things? We haven't been burgled once. What's wrong with us? <laughs> Mother, burglars are very busy men. You've got to advertise, you know. Put a card up in the news agents. Wanted jobbing burglar. <laughs> Highest rates paid. Apply Mrs. Lumsden, that sort of thing, you know. Mother, what about my breakfast? Am I not going to have to? I think they're avoiding us. The whole avenue knows we haven't been burgled. They think we're poor. Those burglars at Mrs. Folliot's ate all the food in her larder. Ah, gourmet burglars. That's why they've not come here. <laughs> you don't deserve this. Wait a minute, Mother. I've seen this somewhere before. <laughs> Is it last night's supper? No, no, no. Bonfire night, 1984. <laughs> it's the curry haddock. You didn't touch it. I did, Mother. I've got a blister to prove it. Look, the skin's come all off there. Right? Well, serve you right for picking at your food. Now eat it up before it sets. Mother, if God had intended haddock to be curried, he'd have put the North Sea nearer India. <laughs> Are you going to eat it, or am I going to give you a good hiding? <laughs> well? Can we confer? I'm sorry I didn't stop. Oh. Only, you see, I'm turning off just up the road. I'm only stopping now to tell you why I didn't. Is this a lift, or isn't it? Well, well, not really, no. The bus off, then? Oh. Right. Unless you're turning off as well, of course. I could be. Why not? <laughs> All right, I'll tidy up these biscuit crumbs. <laughs> What's this? Oh, yeah, it's a retired crunchy bar. <laughs> I've never sat on it. On purpose, I think. <laughs> Where's it you're going, then? To my sister's. Where's that? Don't know, really. You couldn't be a bit more precise, could you? <laughs> That's where we're pointing. Oh, well, that's where we're going. <laughs> 
wish I was in your shoes. What, with heels like this? <laughs> oh, no. Exploring the world. You know, beyond the far horizons. Follow the yellow brick road, etc., etc., etc. You headmaster? No. <laughs> See what you mean? You mean the sort of air of calm authority? <laughs> no, the soppy way you talk. <laughs> Look, I don't have to give you a lift, you know. No, I um, happen to be in the library service. Uh. Not ears, no, mind your ears. <laughs> a challenging role, for example, this afternoon. I'm off to see an old lady, Mrs. Hewlett. Always forgets to bring her books back. I'm going to put the frighteners on her. What do you mean? I'm an old lady. No, no, not lady. No, I have a cup of coffee with her. When she's not looking, I'll pitch the books back. I'll drop it here if you like. I'll come with you. Oh, right. Ah, here we are. Shall be a jiff. Jiff, you know, it's an old word we used to use during Rod Stewart's times. Who? <laughs> jiff, you know. <laughs> Mrs. Hewlett, I've come about my cousin Rachel. She's overdue. <laughs> Hello? Mrs. Hewlett. Mrs. Hewlett. If you're not properly dressed, I'll go around the back. You can put the books through the cat flap, all right? <laughs> Mrs. Hew Mrs. Hew Mrs. Hewlett. I know you're in there. Mrs. Hewlett. Mrs. Hewlett. If you don't come out in five seconds, I'll pay the fine myself like I did the last time. <laughs> Mrs. Hewlett. Mrs. Hewlett, if you don't come out, I'll, um, I'll go away. <laughs> I'm going. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <sighs> Win some, you lose some. Hello? Hello? Miss? Hello? <sighs> well, that's gratitude for you. Pinch me crunchy bar. <laughs> Gone. Gone, gone. Gone with the wind, Jean. Takes what she wants and goes. Whether she knows not. <laughs> Wonderful, really. Wonderful? Poor little kids probably run away from home. Run away? In those shoes? No. All kids run away in their night things. No, she's off to seek her fortune, Jean. You know, I know young people. I am one. <laughs> You're 42. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Club Mediterranean, think I'm 28. <laughs> this girl, she didn't know where she was going, you see. Well, you see, neither do I, you see. I mean, that is the bond, really, you know, to drifters. You know, <laughs> off to see the world, you know. <laughs> We're after the same rainbow's end. Waiting round the bend, basically. <laughs> Plus Moon River. I know that, I know. Give me some credit. I'm up with the latest, you know. <laughs> she's run away, it's obvious. And if there's someone in that house, it's not Mrs. Hewlett. She's been in hospital for a week. What? It's a squat. A squat? A squat what? What do you mean? Sorry, no, <laughs> Kids living rough. The milkman comes in here. He knew there was something going on. Oh, well, at least she's got a roof over her head anyway. Oh, I bet they're the lot that's done all those break-ins. Kids don't do break-ins, surely. Not I mean, a blind books, no. <laughs> Goodness me, I feel so responsible. I mean, I invited her into that den of vice. You know, I'm a monster. Oh, yeah, who's playing the front legs? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mother, I'm not here. <laughs> what? Mrs. Folliot is coming to lunch. Yes, with two small Fs. I want you back here and speaking nicely. <coughs> it's your favourite. Smoked salmon. No, not curried smoked salmon. <laughs> what 
girl. You're not seeing any girl. I want you back here this very moment. And comb your hair before you get here. <laughs> well, there, there are mirrors and phone boxes. Well, stand on the directories then. <laughs> well, jump up and down as well. Hello, Mater Old Bean. <laughs> Timsy Wimsy is back. <laughs> I'm just popping upstairs to slip into the saddle row number, would you? Mater? Mater? Mater, old bean! You're in the kitchen! Oh. Mother, good. Luncheon in the kitchen? What's happened? Where's Mrs. Folliot? In the bathroom washing her two small Fs? <laughs> <laughs> Language, Timothy! <laughs> It's Dennis Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Folliot had to cry off. She's been burgled. Again? It's the fourth time. We still haven't been burgled once. <laughs> the Arsenal came back from 4 0 down. I mean, they won in the end. You've got me here under false pretenses. I'm going back to the Hewlett's. Sit down and be quiet. Right. Luncheon <laughs> is served. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Mother? Where's the, uh, where's the smoked salmon? We're oh, going back to Tesco's. I'm not wasting it on you. <laughs> Perish the thought we should eat food. Well, what do you think that is? I would say this is uh, English, 19th century. <laughs> one of a pair and probably uses a doorstop. <laughs> Very well, it's pie. What kind of pie, Mother? Mind your own business, pie. <laughs> it's curried haddock, pie. <laughs> it's the curry, mother. All right. It's the curry, cold, in a pie. <laughs> mother, if the green goddess served me this curry on gold plates on the Orient Express, I still wouldn't eat it. You're not leaving this house till you have. Mother, I don't want a confrontation. No, you've got a yellow streak in you. Yes, Mother, it's yesterday's curry. <laughs> How dare you! Stand in the corner. Very on, Perish. You'll go too if you're not careful. In the corner. Mother, I am 42. <laughs> I haven't stood in the corner since I was 30. <laughs> with your hands on your head. No. Are you defying me? Well, somebody is. It might be the cat. <laughs> I'll teach you to be a cheeky little boy. Oh, teach me. Oh, lessons. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Fetch my hairbrush. Your hair looks perfectly fine. Not for my hair, for your bottom. <laughs> it doesn't need brushing. <laughs> no, it needs hiding. Like the curry does. Under the compost. <laughs> what? Spoil the compost? <laughs> I'll deal with you later. Goodbye, Mother, as we say to your curry, au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how he's changed. Why is it that everything that's good and clean and decent becomes rotten, degraded and filthy? That's because you carry it, Mother. <laughs> Hello? 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 If anyone's going to jump out, don't, because I've got a weapon. Hello? Hello? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
yourself someone. It's me. Oh, it's you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is, uh, this is, this is the squat, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Fag? Well, why not? <laughs> <coughs> two, two drifters. <laughs> Do you mind if I, uh, Not, uh, you're not running away from home by any chance, are you? What's it to you? Indeed, indeed. Yeah, indeed. Except that I, you know, quite often do myself, you know. <laughs> quite often run away from home. Don't it upset your kids? Kids? <laughs> well, well, a, a bit, yes. Still, your kids must be about 20. Oh, not as many as that, no. <laughs> 20 years old. Oh! Oh, ha. You know, there's, uh, 13, 6 and 1. <laughs> and the twins are 7 and 9. <laughs> Tell us. Only the one. What's her name? What? What's her name? Um, uh, wait a minute, uh, what do we call it? <laughs> Tuna. Yeah, yes, yes. You see, we honeymooned in Sardinia and we could hardly call it a sardine. <laughs> what about your uh, mother? Is she going to be worried at all? My mother went off. Oh, so did mine. She <laughs> <laughs> went right off. <laughs> Before I was born, as a matter of fact. Well, so we, we're sort of, you know, kindred spirits, really. We're, you know, got something in. Sorry, sorry, what was your, uh, sorry, what was your name again? Sharon. Sharon. Shaz. 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 I'm Timothy. Taz. <laughs> Tiz. <laughs> Tizzy. <laughs> what about your dad? Is he a sort of decent bloke? I mean... He don't care. Oh. I'm doing a bunk up the smoke. Up the chimney, you mean what? <laughs> No, no, what? Up London. <coughs> London? You mustn't go to London. Things have to go in London. Like what? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they meet people called Sir Jasper and that's sort of thing. I think Jasper's a nice name. The terrible things happen to girls. They get tied to railway lines, their tiny hands get frozen. <laughs> go home, Shaz. I can't stay with my dad. Well, he'll be worried about you, you know. He hits me. Well, only because he loves you. Oh, you're out of your tiny. I'm not at all out of my tiny, please. I'm well within my tiny. I'm not at all out of my tiny. Uh, listen, I could, I could go to the police about all this, you know. I knew you were a headmaster. Well, I'm not. You're going to tell on this squat, aren't you? No, I'm not. <laughs> no. No, you're bleeding no, not. No, I'm not. But excuse Who's me. Who's this, oh, He's a straight. No. I think my dad sent him. No, I'm not. You're the school attendance officer, are you? <laughs> He's going to tell on our squat. No, I'm not. Honestly, scouts on her. Scats? Well, not scouts. Well, you know, woodland folk. <laughs> dib, 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 dib. <laughs> what do you mean? No, no, you've missed the point, I think. Nothing, Paul. Wait, wait, come here, wait, you. Excuse me. Wait, wait, throw him out. Bang him in the fish pond. In the shallow end. Some of the fish are ginormous. <laughs> Tim! Hey! What's this? <laughs> you look like something out of a midget submarine. <laughs> Mother knitted it for the Merchant Navy. <laughs> Lucky for them, the war finished before she did. <laughs> Brandy? Had an accident, Frank. Oh, in a car? No, in a pond. <laughs> Young people, Frank, I mean, I don't know. How do we reach out to them, eh? What? Well, Frank, you know, I was young once. Well, twice, to be honest. And, I mean, it's basically a problem of communication, isn't it, really? Oh, yes, it is, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, this is it, you see, neither do they. Why can I not communicate with young people? Well, you don't talk their language. You're a Digby. Oh, I am not. Not a Digby. What's a Digby? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> it's, uh, what do you mean? It's, uh, what, do you mean? Um, what do you mean, a chump? A, a twerp? You know, silly sausage? What do you mean? What? Silly sausage? Oh, yes, you gods. I mean, you're so out of date. These kids are alive. I mean, you've never done anything, have you, eh? Most daring thing you ever did was go to the toilet while the train was standing in the station. Well, that wasn't my fault, was it? Be honest. 
It was a points failure. It did cut. <laughs> well, I blame your mother. For the points failure, it did cut. No, 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 no. For you. She's made you a wimp. Has she really? What, for a birthday present? <laughs> hope it fits better than this does. <laughs> well, thank you, Barbara. Oh, now, be honest now, Frank. You have never... Now, no, you've never really been very keen on my mother, have you? Be honest. Oh, no, I haven't. No. <laughs> well, you've not got a good word for her. Well, I have, but if I said it out loud, they'd fling me out of the pub. <laughs> <laughs> no. So what's wrong with your mother now? You got a couple of hours to spare? Basically... <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I mean today. Yes? I saw her storming out of the police station. Oh, she'd probably been to complain. What about? Well, we haven't been burgled, you see. Oh, well, of course. Well, of course. Well, that's it in a nutshell, isn't it, really? Your mother's balmy. Now, be fair, Frank. Be fair, you see. I can see her point of view over this. The foliots have been burgled four times. Now, we haven't. Therefore, she feels rejected, you see. So, she takes the rejection out on me, you see. Well, do something, then. Get the house burgled. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? Well, do it yourself. <laughs> Frank, you must have had too much to drink. <laughs> oh, yes. And you've never had enough. Come on. It's closing time. We'll do it. Make your mother happy for a change. Can't burgle my own house, Frank. Wimp? I am not. Well, come on, then. Well, I haven't got the mask or the striped jersey or the satchel or anything. No, come on. <laughs> leaving the back door key underneath the mat. That's inviting people. Well, she is inviting people. Shh. <laughs> Look, open that window. Make like we climbed in. All right. I know, Frank. We could take the curry. <laughs> Don't be daft. We take the silver. We need the silver. Well, you can't have it both ways. No, you're right. What we need is a big plastic bag or something. Well, there's one in the garage. <coughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Didn't see you, sorry. Couldn't be black anyway. I thought you were the police. <laughs> well, you are the police, I mean. <laughs> I'm just cleaning the silver. <laughs> I live here, you see. Oh, yes. I have to warn you that anything you may say will no, be... No, no, I, no. I, I live here. I do live here. I'm not a burglar. <laughs> I am the son of the house. I... Oh! We've been burgled. <laughs> Mother! Open your mouth. You'll wish you hadn't. This person now under arrest claims he lives here. What is your reaction to that? Huh. <laughs> Mother, the only son I've got is one who eats up his curry. <laughs> Sorry, you've lost me there, lady. Is this your son? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. Mother! Bung in, in the van. Look, I've got a birthmark. I've got a birthmark. <laughs> Very nasty little piece of work. Cat flat merchant, I wouldn't wonder. Short, sharp shot. That's what he needs. Honestly, she is my mother, you know. I do live here. Look, look, I shut. There's a bird bath over there. <laughs> Hello, you see him? Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? They're only going to do us for being vagrants. What are you doing here? Oh, well, it's a long story. You doing a the job then? Turning over that gaff? Turning over? Oh, ransacking, you mean? Well, you're a bit, yeah, bit of a ransack, you know. <laughs> oh, you were looking round our place, weren't you? Ah, sauce, sauce. We wouldn't have thrown you in with a goldfish if we'd known. Yeah, only we thought that you were a bit of a digby. Well, that's what I want you to think, didn't I, eh? It's me friend, eh? Digby. <laughs> the great big wide world, a digby. Dig down underneath. Pimper now. <laughs> Who's now? No. Yeah. Where's Sharon, by the way? Sharon's off up the smoke. What, tonight? Yeah, the 11.59, she said. She mustn't go to London. She is. Oh, I can't allow that. I've got to stop her. <laughs> Get back 
I've been there. Look, wait a minute. There's a young person in serious moral danger. You'll be all right with us. No, no, not me. Not me. <laughs> Look, do I have the right to make a phone call like they do in films? Because I don't want to make a phone call. Right, get Look, back in the van. No, I want to tell my mother, you know, that lady in there, that if she admits I'm her son, mother, I've got to get to the railway station. Mother, if you tell him I'm your son, I'll eat the curry. <laughs> He's such a good boy. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Wait. Good Lord. <laughs> don't, 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 don't go yet. Don't go yet. Bingo. I found you. You coming to London? No, I'm not. No. It's no place for me. It's no place for you either. No money. Nowhere to go. I've come to take you back home. You and whose army? The Salvation Army, if necessary, Shaz. Don't you understand how concerned I am about you? Eh? You, it's me you turn to for a lift. No, you can go and do. Yes, but not while the train is standing in the station. <laughs> Shaz, I'm trying to get through to you. The train's going to Not yet! Don't go yet! Sorry about that. That's a communication problem. Communication problem. Oh. Oh. You don't care, do you? <laughs> End of a perfect day, really. I drove her home. Father and daughter were reunited. <laughs> Grudgingly at first, but... <laughs> I have high hopes, you know. I had a word with the father, you know. Frank. Frank discussions and frank talks and... Uh, to be quite honest, um, he gave me a clip round the ear. <laughs> <laughs> then I opened all the car windows and sang all the way home. <laughs> Good show, Timothy. Oh, thank you, Mother. <laughs> oh, there you are. You've got to eat this curry up before bedtime. <laughs> yes, Mother, it's a fair cop. There. Ah. It's grown, Mother. <laughs> Well, yes. It's yesterday's and today's. <laughs> I got the recipe from Mrs. Folliot. Curry meringue pie. <laughs> Good luck, Timothy. <laughs> thank you, Father. And thank you, Mrs. F -f -f Language. <laughs> Sorry, Father. <laughs> oh. Thank you.